the way this one was shot, and I'm sure that that it's like this in other episodes as well, but it was the first time I really felt like this was more of a in front of a live audience. Oh. That's what it felt like. Okay. Like, it's like that kind of comedy where you're playing to the crowd, right? Mm-hmm. To get the laughs. And mm-hmm. it didn't feel like. Uh, I could see that. You know, like the single camera live action comedy that it actually really became known for and that's what made it so unique but it was like this kind of like big slapsticky you know maybe they were getting notes maybe though maybe they were trying to punch it up absolutely yeah because they were they were struggling with that actually makes a lot of sense right you know doing like frazier like that's the raven was in front of an audience too big time like you you, 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 children was you you have to do that yeah it's that you got to play it in front of yeah i mean it's it's almost like theater right like you, you can't be so subtle the comedy can't be as subtle. It's got to be. It's got to be big and broad to to you know get the audience reaction right. And that's how they were still playing it, even though it was it was a a uh, single camera. What you mean in this particular episode? I'm saying I felt it. You felt more it more in this episode. Yeah, yeah, like I feel like that should have been. Well, uh, I find that really interesting because we shut down after this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I didn't know this. You guys shut down. This was yeah. our last. This is when we took a high, uh, oh, hiatus an unexpected the... hiatus. No, I mean, pretty much our yeah. show got pulled into development again. It got pulled back, even though it had already been like out. yeah, it, oh, it, it was it was an, I, yeah, it's something like something like that, a right? version like Damn, that. Damn, yeah. so yeah. y'all yeah. almost got canceled before I came. Slow down. On. Oh, okay. slow down. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Though. You're not the only one who yeah. gets canceled. <laughs> Damn. So I mean, yeah, I guess that's that's one way to look at it. I'm trying to think about where else to go with this. With this particular episode, because you weren't in it, it doesn't help nope. that either one of you aren't in this episode. Yeah. This is what happens when you don't put me in a show. You got nothing to say about it. See, many years later, we kick yeah. ourselves. Beans. Trying well, to see honestly, if I could pull up. I kind of. I, I mean, have Steven, like a, I, I don't know, dude. You, you know how natural it feels to just call you beans. Beans. I, it, does I don't that, think anyone's ever called me by my real name on the show ever. How does that feel? I mean, honestly, I, I don't have too weird of feelings about it because it's again, it's all I know. Yeah. And like, it's, I'm sure this is probably weird as fuck to everybody else, but to me, it's all I know. So yeah. that's the only thing I got to base it on. And like, it's a little it's different normal. for you than I think it is for me. Like, if people are like, if they if they ever realize that, oh, usually they don't remember what my name was, or the character name. Like, well, you were on the yeah, brother, yeah, you're the, you're Donnie, the you're brother the guy, right? Yeah, yeah. If they know the name, they're like, oh, you're Donnie, right? I'm like, well. Kind of. I mean, that's what I was called that. Yeah, called at some that. point in time in my life, but that's not really who I am. The artist formerly known as. Donnie. I don't. I don't live in that. Your character is a little different. Your character, Beans, kind of transcended the show and and had. I don't know. Like Beans became a real life it's a thing. Cult thing. Yeah, it became a real life. I told life you there was thing. drinking. Yeah. There was like drinking. Well, I, I feel like Google Beans it. was an every man. Everybody really identified with Beans because he. I I feel like that's something. You, not unique. You mean every boy? I no, know, I don't know if it was every no, man. Every every person. I feel like every person really has that deep need to be needed, you know. And that's what Beans was. That's I feel like that's why that was a secret I gave me at least as a, as an actor. It's like, well, Beans needs to be needed, mm. you know. And that's why he's always there, you know. Obviously, the, you never know what's going on there. You know, you give yourself certain actor things, certain secrets, you know, going into there to kind of play into it. But that that was mine. Was Beans really wants that to physicalize a gesture? It would be that pat on the head. Yeah, you know. Um, when I Google you, you this pat on the head. Have yeah. you ever Googled yourself? Oh God. Oh no. Do you I Google yourself? No, but I do, I do have Google alerts set up in yeah. case anything ever gets... pops in there. Yeah, and I found out that I share a name with a um, uh, a New York senator who did got in some trouble. So that's about <laughs> that's about all I know. Another and if another, I another you, Nick Spano out there. HuffPo says beans from even Stevens thinks it's weird people still recognize him. Oh yeah, that was. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember the, the 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 leading question to that. It was probably like, well, yeah, people. You know, you don't look anything like a you know, eight hundred pound nine year old. It's like, well, yeah, I guess that's weird. That's... Wait, that's... how old, How much did you weigh? Yeah, like a hundred pounds. I you were a hundred pounds at nine. Yeah, I literally weigh less I now than I do when I was nine. Wow. You know. Well, you're taller. Taller. You're yeah. definitely taller. taller. But he's, you were like, but he's skinny yeah. for I'm sorry, sure. But you were like this. You were like this. I was probably about maybe half a foot shorter back then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not that much. Oh, you know okay. what? I actually yeah. have something from from uh, from our our final episode. 
Oh no! That that uh, that beans gave. Uh, I'm sorry. Aww. Gosh darn it! Oh, where is it? Steven, where is it? I'll, oh, I'll be right back. Oh no! Oh, where is no. it? I know what it is too. You almost got emotional when we were we I, were showing you this the other day. Yeah, I gave one to everybody. Don't I, get him. Are you gonna? You know yeah. what? Have your feelings. Yeah. My hand will be here. Okay. Oh, now he's taking I'll it. Take okay, it. we're yeah. getting to this oh, now. It's, well, yeah, you know. I'm not going to stop being Here. nurturing. If anything, I'm going to get way <laughs> right. more nurturing. So I actually, I, I actually have something here from, oh, from Stephen that uh, he gave us oh, uh, at the end of the series, which was kind of cute. And, yes. it, and, and, it, and it's, it's ironic that we are here, here now. now. 20 years later. So you have to tell them what it is. I understand that. Oh, yeah. Podcast. <laughs> so this is, uh, so I have this little um, silver star keychain that says on it nick castmates once friends forever love steven aka beans and this dude was like nine years old whatever how 10 years old how old were you when he gave this to us <laughs> yeah but yeah nine or, and nine. Uh, handed out these so, little these little keychains to all the no, castmates I was, I, was, uh, I was 12 because 12 I was 13 when i shot this and, and i've had movie. i've had this thing in my drawer ever since you right were? it's in my oh. underwear drawer is it really Who's it? Oh, well, thank you, Nick. No, it's it's seen. Not, that's it's not, it's that's not, seen. That's seen. Keeping it close to your heart. Wait, can right I see now? it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you a question. Since we're talking about this, do you remember mm. making this? No. I just, so did I, your, <laughs> one of your parents made this? Yeah, I remember our parents going out probably to some mall out here to get a mall made. Okay, engraved. so your mom or dad made this, yeah, and it, they financed this, which has got to be at least a couple hundred dollars because you got them for everybody yeah, or just got, the main principal? The here? principal cast. Yeah. Okay, but it's still a lot of money. And then my question to you is, why are you so emotional when you handed this to him or you, he brought this? Well, because, it, it, you know, even though it was only three years of my life, it's a huge part of my life. You know, the show is obviously a huge part. You know, I, I get recognized from it a lot and but where probably most people know me from. And yeah, it, it's been a huge part of my life. So you know? I, I think it's probably one of the problems, too. And I don't mean this about you specifically but for any young person that gets into the business if you have any ounce of celebrity or fame that comes from it yeah it, it's 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 kind of hard to like a good example and i forget the guy's name i'm gonna screw this all up but the guy who was on um uh you yawny no as I'm talking. <laughs> um the actor that was on uh Maybe the Cosby Show. I forget his name. He was working at a um at a oh I know who you're talking Trader about Trader Joe's. Oh, is he? Uh, he's a shorter guy too. Who knows? Okay, I can't remember, but I know he was working at a Trader Joe's, and so he was like bagging stuff at a Trader Joe's. Mm. And first of all, my are you sister, thinking, talking about Emmanuel Lewis? Is no, that who you're no, talking no, about? no, no, no. Okay, no, okay, no. okay. No, no. It's, this was he was like he was like the. He was like the brother on, oh, on the Cosby Show. Okay. I think. I think okay. that's who it was. Um, and uh, he uh, he's working at Trader Joe's. Which shout out to Trader Joe's. My TJ's. Sister, my sister works at, at at TJ's. And uh, one of the things about TJ's is they're great to their employees. Yeah, they man. have great benefits. Like they're really. A, it's a great company to work for. So I completely understand why this guy would take that job there because there is some job security and benefits that comes with it. And somebody like posted a like, you know, a, a little trolley, co you know, post about him and making fun of him working at a, at a, at a Trader Joe's. And it's like, that's the hard thing about this business is that once you've worked as an actor and you've been on television, everyone assumes that you're somehow are made oh, yeah. for life, made for life yeah. and that you should, you should be loaded and that mm -hmm. you should never have to work a normal job again. Well, so also that you owe them an explanation. Thanks so much for watching this clip of the Even More Stevens podcast. For full episodes, check us out on Apple, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get podcasts. Do you want more of us in your life? Well, then join our Patreon today. Link is in the description.